The Ukrainian Air Force is hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned by its most likely foe, the Russian Air Force. Kiev at best can muster just 125 frontline warplanes. Of these, 71 are fighters. Of the fighters, the 34 active twin-engine Su-27 flankers and their expert pilots stand the best chance of making any dent at all in the punishing bombing campaign that could precede a wider Russian offensive across Ukraine's Donbas region. The best Su-27s, and best pilots, belong to a single brigade with two squadrons, based at Mirgorod, in north-central Ukraine east of the Dnieper River, which bisects the country from north to south. If Russian President Vladimir Putin decides to escalate the eight-year war in eastern Ukraine, watch the 831st Tactical Aviation Brigade at Mirgorod. If the brigade Su-27s rise to meet Russian planes, it's a sign that the Ukrainian Air Force, which has sat out the campaign in Donbas since suffering heavy losses in 2015, intends to fight. In any event, the battle might be brief. Against Ukraine's six dozen fighters, the Russian Air Force can deploy many hundreds of newer and more capable jets. The 831st Brigade has a long history. Forming in 1941 as part of the Soviet Air Force, it battled German forces along the Baltic Front. In 1991 Ukraine inherited from the collapsing USSR the brigade and its Su-27S interceptors and two-seat Su-27UB trainers, the oldest of which were just six years old. In 2002, a Ukrainian Su-27 crashed at an air show in Lviv, killing 77 people, the worst air show disaster in history. After disposals and sales, Kiev's Air Force settled on a two-brigade structure for its roughly 55 surviving Su-27s. The 831st with its two squadrons had the most flankers. The 39th Brigade, at Ozern Air Base west of the Dnieper, had one squadron with slightly newer Su-27 PS. Ukrainian industry worked up a modest upgrade program to bring select flankers up to the M1 standard with a new flight recorder and tweaks to their electronics. More importantly, the Sukhois began undergoing a $3 million projet teardown and overhaul to keep them flying through 2030. But the pace of upgrades and overhauls was slow. And over the course of 20 years, the Ukrainian flanker fleet steadily declined to just a dozen or so operational jets. Those few fighters were powerless to stop the Russians and Russian-backed separatists from seizing Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula in 2014 and much of Donbas the following year. After a spate of shootdowns over Donbas in 2014 and 2015 in which some 60 Ukrainians died, Kiev pulled its aircraft out of the war zone. The fighting continued. 